Hey everybody, Adam Peterson from TeachersLearn2.com here and I'm back with another video today and I'm talking all about playing with a purpose. As much as some of us don't want to admit it, the Christmas shopping season is upon us. So if you're a teacher or a parent looking for your own child or for children in your school, I've got some ideas for ways to make playtime purposeful. So I do this a lot in my kitchen center or my dramatic play area. And instead of just putting kitchen food in here for them to play with and just make a mess with, like we know little kids can do, I found kitchen food ideas that I use that have a purpose behind them. So I'm going to go through a couple of these. There's plenty more out there for you. But think about this as a parent at home. If you're looking for ways to keep educating your child at home outside of school, these are great ways to do that while they're just playing at home. So the first thing I have is this cookie counting game. It's called Cookie Shapes. And um, I think I picked this up at the chalkboard, which is a local teacher store to me. Um, but it's by Learning Resources, so you can check out all of Learning Resources things online, I'm sure. Um, but this is a game all about shapes, matching, and sorting. So, again, it's kitchen food. Like, if you have a child that likes to play with the play kitchen at home, it's kitchen food. But their cookies designed with shapes and um, colors, matching, all kinds of things to do. And it even comes with some cool cards for them to use to make faces of the different cookies and then matching games that go along with it. So a great playful or play with a purpose idea. Cookie Shapes is the name of this one. Another one that I use quite often in my classroom, teaching primary, and this is great for little ones at home learning their letters, are these little candy beads. They're called candy letters, but they've got the uppercase on one side and the lowercase on the other, and they can use these to string through. You can see there's holes through all of them. They can string words together. They can put the letters in ABC order, um, or just put letters together that they know. You know, work on letter identification letter sound, things like that. So an easy thing for a child to do alone at home and just play in their kitchen, but also a way for them to learn while doing it. Uh, the next one I have is a couple different things here, and these my kids love to use. These are popsicles. So I've got a group of letter popsicles that look like this, and you can see that they fit together. So the kids go along and they match up the uppercase letter with the lowercase letter, and on the back is another set of letters, so there's, um, they can practice these for all the letters of the alphabet matching up uppercase and lowercase. And then I've got number popsicles where the popsicle itself has dots. So you can see the four dots on here. And then the cover for or the shell has the number. So they put those together. So again, just a great way to work on number identification and counting and letter identification and letter sounds by playing with their kitchen food. And then the last one, this is one of my students' favorite ones. It's new this year. These are mini muffin counters. So we know the, there's things like teddy bear counters and cars and trucks and stuff out there that we use in classrooms, but this will be great for a classroom or home. So parents pay attention. This was picked up at the chalkboard as well, and this is another learning resources activity. So it comes with all these different colored muffins, and I know they're kind of hard to see. They're tiny little muffins, red, blue, green, yellow. But then they sell these colored muffin tins. And if you don't want to buy their muffin tins, go buy some other muffin tins and just color code them with tape or stickers. Um, but my kids love this for sorting time. So they sort out the different colors of muffins and then they come up with ideas of sort them other ways. Um, they count how many go in the different holes on their muffin tin. But it's just a great way, again, to learn through play. So there you go. There's some quick ideas of a way to make playing purposeful at your house or in your classroom. So as you start to shop for your little ones for Christmas, if they're kids or grandkids, and they have a play kitchen at home or you have a play kitchen in your classroom, think of these ideas as a way to make their playtime purposeful and continue learning through play, which you know is one of my slogans in my classroom. We learn through play every day. These are just one way we do that, but a great idea for Christmas gifts is to start thinking about those things. So again, I am Adam Peterson from TeachersLearn2.com. Be sure to visit our website, wwwteacherslearn 2 the number 2com It'll link you right to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe down below. And then follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Teachers Learn 2. I look forward to sharing more ideas with you that you can use in classrooms or parents at home as well. So please share this with all your teacher friends and parent friends and uh, keep following all the things we're doing. We'll be back soon with another video for you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.